Hey gang, Fraser Smith, we are behind the scenes at the Ice House, and tonight on the show we've got... Is that Helen? Helen? Fraser. Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't recognize you. This is the first time I've seen you outside of a massage parlor. Uh, wow. Very good seeing you. Yeah, good to see you there. Okay. By the way, um, you stiffed me on the tip and you owe me 20 bucks. I, I stiffed you on the tip? It, not in the right way. Oh. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get back to you on that. All right, folks, uh, thanks for joining us here behind the scenes at the, uh, the Ice House. You're watching the Ice House behind the scenes with Fraser Smith. Hey, gang, Fraser Smith here. Welcome to Behind the Scenes at the Ice House. We've got some great women comics tonight. Some of my favorites, Jen Colber, Sarah Tiana, and Helen Hung. So let's get into it right now. My mom is like very aggressively wanting me to marry a Korean guy. She's like all about me marrying a Korean guy. Both, both my parents are like, oh, Mary, Mary, what do you like? <laughs> wow, that was a good set you just Thank had. Thank you very much. I love this man. He is the fastest jokester in the West. He's just a joke gunslinger. Wow, wow, wow. I'll get back to you on that. Now, you are just here new from uh, New York, right? I am, yeah. Do you miss the smell of urine in the morning? I, I mean, how do you like I L.A.? Can't, I can't say I do. <laughs> I can't say I do. I love it here, um, and I think I love it here for all the reasons why New Yorkers generally hate it here, which is it's fake and whatever. People are, like, too chill, and I'm like, I like that. Sometimes it's a nice thing. What's well, something yeah. wacky that happened to you? I have once had my boob grabbed. On stage. Oh, I thought you were going to blame me for that. Uh, <laughs> not by I'm a comic. Quick. I'm not by quick, a comic. I don't think it was that Because that happens all the time. Yeah. I mean, comics grabbing my boob is a, sure, like a daily occurrence. That doesn't even count. But an audience member actually got wow. up on stage, front row center, got up on stage, and he was an older gentleman, and I think he was being, he was enjoying the show. He loved it. And I thought he was trying to be funny by. He had taken out a dollar, and he was trying to tuck oh, it into my okay. shirt, oh. like, hey, here's a tip for you, honey. And he tripped on his way up and just went, Wah, and wow. full-on boob grabbage. And I was like, it was like an out-of-body experience. You know, when time slows down, and I'm like, that man's hand is not coming back. <laughs> oh, my God, that man's hand is actually on my breast right now. Wow. What did the crowd do? Did they... They just went, everyone went, oh! <gasps> Which, if you've never seen an elderly Asian couple hissing at each other, it's a perfect treat, let me tell ya. <laughs> Your mama sucks! Okay, you can see our next comedian on eHarmony or Match.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is Not awesome. One of the best out there. She's just so talented. She's going to be on Nickelodeon's Moms um, <laughs> in June. And she is hilarious, guys. One of the funniest. How about a big hand for our good friend, Sarah Tiana? Come on, guys! Hi, Fraser Smith, and I'm with Sarah Tiana, one of my babes. Love her. You say that about everybody. I do. <laughs> I mean that about you. I do. Yeah. And I know you have a bruise. So we're going to talk about that. Because oh. that's interesting. I wish it was a more fun story. Yeah, I wish it was in a different place. But, you know, <laughs> we'll find out about that later. Well, you know, you've been out there for quite a while doing your stand-up. Well, give me a crazy thing that happened to you out on the road. I know you've worked with some interesting people. I have. You know, I think like the worst, well, like the craziest thing was like one time it was like me and Ralphie May were in the green room and at the Funny Farm in Atlanta. Right. And well, your hometown. My hometown club. Yeah. And Ron White was coming in to do the show too, but he was like running late. Well, the comedy club had lost their liquor license for the week, so nobody, that, it's packed. Oh man, what's and Ron no White going to do? I know, no one can have any alcohol, but the club bought Ron White a bottle of Johnny Walker Black and it's in the dressing room, right? Right, right. And he's late, and me and Ralphie like struggle through our sets because like everyone's miserable, it's hot, like for some reason like the air cushion conditioning is not even working, right? right? And they can't have alcohol, they're miserable. I see Ron this comes is going. in late. And just pours himself a drink and walks up on stage. And me and Ralphie, look, I was like, should we tell him? And, and uh, we were like, fuck that kid. <laughs> yeah, he got there late, he can suffer. So like for 15 minutes, he's out there drinking the Johnny Walker Black. No one is even responding. No one's laughing, no one's talking. They're all just sitting there, staring at him. And he's got to be out there for half an hour. He's already <laughs> Uh -oh. Been out there for 15 minutes, and he right. comes back and he's like so mad. He's like, "What are you guys doing?" 
Like he finally figures it out. The audience tells him. And he felt so bad, but he just kept drinking on stage and smoking a cigar. Like he didn't change anything, but the whole crowd was so mad. Me and Ralph, we were just like dying in the back. <laughs> we were like, ah. Well, that's our wrong wife. That's our wrong wife goes. Yeah. You got him though. Yeah, yeah, it was fine. It was fun, you know. But any kind of crowd without alcohol. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, can wreck your whole night. Yeah. yeah. Audience member or performer. Uh -huh. Well, mine. you are awesome, and, and best of luck with all your stuff. And uh, I want to uh, look more to that bruise later. Yeah. I know it's... It's right there. We're going to find that story out next. It's a pretty fun story. Because I dig deep. <laughs> Nothing about you is deep, Frazier. That's true. That's true. She knows me well. I have an uncle who's a two-star general in the Air National Guard. Very proud of my uncle. And I love to brag about him, but my uncle's name is Tom. And when you're Southern and you have an uncle Tom, that's weird. <laughs> like, you can't just bring that up anywhere. And no one ever believed me. They're like, you don't really have an uncle Tom. I'm like, that offends me. And it offends my Uncle Ben and my Aunt Jemima, too. So. Hey, phrase that vegetable buddy you wanted. Oh yeah, thanks Eddie. Just uh, put that right there. And uh, here's 20 bucks. You can just keep that. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I'll explain later. <laughs> Fraser Smith, behind the scenes of the ice house, was one of my all-time favorites. Come on, Jenny Cober. Hello. What's happening? Nothing. I'm having a good time here at the ice house. You always have a good time. You, you do, don't <laughs> you? I did, Pretty actually, much. Yeah. Always. Yeah. yeah. You were great tonight. So when your mama shops at the boat store, that means the fridge is always full of delicious food. And my favorite food as a little kid and even to this day, my favorite food is American cheese. I'm going to say that shit again. <laughs> Yeah, always great. And, uh, you know, you've been out on the road for many years. What, what, give me a crazy road story, a Jen Cobra story. I know you got some good ones. Oh, yeah, I do. I was actually uh, recently just in uh, Minnesota. Right. And the I'm, I'm trying to get this woman to come up on stage with me. And she keeps doing that, like, no, no. And I'm like, come on. Come on. And she, I'm like, yeah, at least come, get up out of your get, Let's get up out of her chair. Let's get up out of her chair. And then I realized she's in a wheelchair. Ah. Um, did so she get up? No. She did, <laughs> she did not get up. that would have been a miracle. But she was a and wonderful. I wouldn't put it past you. She was a wonderful sport about it. And I she? ended up coming down to her to do the bit. Because it really wasn't necessary for her to come up to me. And so. Did that did freak that. you for a minute, though? It, it, well, it was one of those moments where you're like, you know when you're messing with somebody in the crowd. And you're like, oh, what do you do for a living? They're like, I teach special ed. And you were about to rip into them. But now that they said they teach special ed, you've yeah, got to like, do? Yeah. regroup your whole thing and be like, I knew some happy retarded people one time. Like you have to like yeah. go into like, How do you put a smile on that? Completely out. Well, pudding. Yeah. Pudding. Yeah. Happy retarded people love pudding. You love pudding. I it's love the that. way we all get along. That's how pudding we all connect. It's what connects us. That's, it is, isn't it? Yeah. You got to do it something with Jello. Okay. <laughs> I don't mean that. Something. I, was that an offer? It was actually. The show's over. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jen Cover. Thanks for joining us behind the scenes at the Ice House. Come back. Yeah. Hey, gang. Fraser Smith. Thanks for joining us on another behind the scenes at the Ice House. We had a great show tonight, and we're gonna. Fraser oh, Smith. Mel Cole. Fraser. Oh, let me tell you the news, man. I just buy uh, Ice House franchise in the Baghdad. You see, a green zone adjacent. It's no, it's the same. And we want you to be a headliner there, Fraser. Okay, Mel. But what if I bomb? Fraser, it's Baghdad now. Everybody bombs. Hamas. Sunnis, okay, I get it. All right, I'll take it now. You're the greatest. Yes. Well, I hooked up another deal. Thanks for joining us again on Behind the Scenes here at the Ice House. See you next time.